inside his home. And in Phelps County, volunteers are stepping up their search now for a 13-year-old boy with special needs who's been missing for nearly two months. As KY3 Justin Hodges shows us, searchers are holding out hope they may yet find him alive. The water has gone down in the Dry Fork Creek, but hopes that volunteers will find 13-year-old Jonathan Shea alive are still high. Okay. We're not giving up until we bring Jonathan home. Laura Waleski organized Monday's search for the boy, reaching out to volunteers on social media. St. Louis to Springfield, there's people here from Jeff City, so they're all over. Becky Velasco and her mother drove up from Springfield to help look for Jonathan. The story of his disappearance hitting close to home. I have a son who has autism, and so I know that so many children with autism wander. Um, and it, I don't think Jonathan ran away. Two months after 13-year-old Jonathan Shea went missing from his home, volunteers are still searching the thick brush along the banks of Dry Fork Creek, hoping they can find answers for the boy's family. My heart breaks for his mom. Um, I commend her for her hope. You know, we're, not, we're here because the family um, will not let his name go. Though Monday's search turned up no signs of Jonathan, volunteers will keep hoping and keep searching. Regardless of how today ends, whether we find him, which we're saying we're finding him today, but if we don't, we're going to do another one here before long and we're not giving up. In St. James, Dustin Hodges, KY3 News. And the group behind that search is planning another one. All the information will be on the Find Jonathan Shea Facebook page. And